Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer and this is the second part on how to draw the Sukumimus. And let's see if I can... Alright, so it's a little bit brighter now. Maybe this would be a little bit better. Okay. So in this part we're going to focus a lot on doing a bit of detail. What I want to start with is drawing some spikes on his uh, neck, coming going from his neck to actually his head. So they start kind of over here. Not too much of it going on at this point, and but they are getting a little bit higher. So now and then. And then they suddenly become very small again. So that's something, uh, some, yeah, something I saw on a other Tsukumimus, well, picture or artwork. I guess everything is an artwork because dinosaurs, you can't make a picture of a dinosaur, so, or take a picture of a dinosaur. Okay, so I want to have the basic... Uh, muscles put in so this would be a very big muscle right here and then over here I'm just gonna draw a whole lot of feints and it's also gonna be quite dark so I'm gonna draw this in quite dark with a lot of stuff going on here and also over here this would be also quite dark at this area because uh, the shadow of his of that own muscle is kind of blocking the sunlight over there so that's how it gets a little darker and the underside of that muscle and then you just leave uh, a very big highlight maybe I'll just put the contrast down a little bit more like this okay so then again also over here you would see a lot of those kind of things over here as well where there are just a lot of lines and highlights And it's just gonna very. It's, I'm gonna make it very wrinkly and scaly, kind of. It kind of looks like a little bit of a brick structure. And that's only for this area. It is going to continue on doing this kind of structure on other areas as well, but not right now. So we also have a little bit of shadow over here, just a little bit. And then this kind of goes to um, the shoulder muscles over here, which are also very pow powerful. And of course, there's going to be a lot more shadow 
on the underside of uh, of the muscle or of whatever you're drawing. But make sure that you, that you do leave a couple of highlights there. And try to get a little bit of detail going on. So I might have actually started off a little bit too dark. So. Um, it's not going to be too much of a problem, but it, it kind of will be, um, I have to make it a little bit darker, darker, which will cause for it to be um, a lot longer than it needed to be, but that's fine with me. It's just that... Um, a lot of people don't really tend to watch my longer videos and I'm, I'm just gonna erase this by the way because it doesn't look cool at all it doesn't look right it's too dark because this area is supposed to be very dark but not this area so over here we just have a big shadow going over top of it And I do want, want him to have a lot of strong muscles over here. So I'm just gonna do that brick structure again. So the reason why I think it looks good over here and not over here is because uh, this is an area which is supposed to be dark because there's a lot of shadow going on it but um, it makes no sense for, for his arm to be very dark because the sun is actually shining on top of it so what does happen is that this area of his arm gets really dark <coughs> but that's about it and then we have a little bit of a shadow over there and this area of his arm gets dark again and then we can kind of draw in his knuckles a little bit So yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep on drawing these muscle shapes over here as well, but these are gonna be a lot lighter, a lot less dark. We'll just pretend that they are just some, some kind of strange muscles and stuff. And then we do have a area where there are a lot of muscles actually coming to his back. For example, his shoulder muscle over here. Yeah, so this might... Um, turn into a very long video and I'm sorry for that I'll try to do it as quickly as I can but I can't promise anything and then we can just basically do the typical um, dinosaur neck that I use on a lot of meat-eating dinosaurs because it kind of looks cool and um, it kind of 
it makes it look like there's a lot more detail going on while there is actually not much more going on just makes it look a little bit more a uh, little bit better in my opinion all right so we do have a little bit of shadow over here but it's not gonna be too dark and we could make a couple of rips kind of getting visible over here like that just kind of a little bit getting out of protruding out of his chest so you kind of have that indication of it being there okay we still have to do a little bit of detail on his fingers so basically you just darken every underneath every kind of knuckle area and you still leave a highlight and uh, this area is very hard to see because it's very small and I'm not skilled enough to make it pop out the way it's supposed to so you won't really um, it won't really look as good as you would expect it to so over here as well we want to have a little bit of shadow going on like this all the way into his nose <laughs> but also we do want to have a little bit of a highlight left of it so just don't darken in every area but we do have a big jaw muscle over here which would be darkest at this area and then I would expect a lot of shadow over here as well but I do want to keep a little bit of the, that highlight on his lower jaw so you can still kind of see where his um, lower jaw separates from his neck And then again, just put a bit of shade into it, but don't go too much overboard, I guess. Okay, so now we are at the hard part. My opinion, one of the hardest parts. So, yeah. It's hard to explain because I don't really understand myself yet either. But we will see what we can kind of get out out of it <coughs> sorry excuse me okay so basically there's gonna be a muscle over here and one over here so this is gonna be a muscle this is gonna be one muscle and this is gonna be a muscle and this will be hard to execute all right so I I imagine that there would be a lot of shadow over here and I should have left a highlight over there that's my bet it's really a shame that I didn't do that because it's probably gonna look a little bit off later on and then I'll just slightly color that in well not color it in but uh, shade it in and then over here as well the most shadow is going to be over here on the 
lower part of his muscle. And over here as well. But this muscle is kind of facing upwards a little bit more, so that means it will have the less amount of shadow, the least amount of shadow. Most of the shadow would actually be around over here, this area, at his knee, kind of. And then over here is his knee. Mm. Yeah, all right. And then there goes a muscle over here. This is a muscle. And we have a muscle that is, I guess, best visible over here. That's this big one muscle because it's actually pulling his uh, <clears throat> his toes up a little but it would have a lot of shadow around that area and then over here we would have a little bit of shadow over there A lot of wrinkles actually. I might have actually drawn this muscle wrong, but I'm gonna leave it this way because I'm still learning. This is a completely new technique that I just um, started using literally in this video. So let's hope the best of it that it will actually turn into something usable All right. And then on the bottom of his feet, we have a lot of shadow as well, but also leave a couple of highlights. That really is essential. All right, so now let's get into the next leg. So also this is gonna be one muscle over here. So they're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of shadow at this area. And then there would be again one muscle over there. So there's gonna be a lot of shadow over there as well. And a bit of shadow over here kind of makes this look a little bit more round, a little bit more bony and stuff. And then just uh, Draw in a little bit of shadow in his toes as well. But actually this is supposed to be a little bit darker than this one because it's at the background. Well, I guess that everything that's at the background is supposed to have, um, is supposed to be a little bit lighter. 
I mean, some artists draw it a little bit lighter than the foreground, and other artists draw it a little bit darker. So, I mean, I guess both works. Alright, so we are already at 20 minutes. I think I will be able to finish this drawing within this second part. Well, at least I hope so. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna continue on drawing these kind of muscle structures everywhere. And I do want there to be a little bit more muscles over here, so I'm just gonna draw it in like this. Something like that. Maybe that will make it look a little bit more muscular. Just a tiny bit more. Alright, so far as still, I know for a fact there is one huge long muscle going like this. There are muscles attached to his tail bone, so kind of goes like this. And this is gonna be quite hard to get right. So let's hope we get it right the first try. So, yeah, I already kind of messed up because on the top part and my eraser messed up also. So I hope I can still erase this. Yeah, all right, that's fine. So uh, on the top part, the muscles are supposed to be a lot less dark. Because we kind of want to keep that um, sort of um, realism in it. And uh, so we have to pay attention to the um, contrast of the drawing with uh, dark and light areas. So for example, this area is supposed to be very dark, so I can easily draw it in very dark, which I'm gonna do right now. And I'm just gonna draw in a couple of those structures again, well, brick kind of structures, just to give it a little bit of detail, make it look like something is actually going on there. And I don't want to make it too obvious. So on the bottom of his tail, it would be very, very dark. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm at the end of his tail. And now I want to leave that little area for the highlight and I want to make the muscle area also uh, clearly visible that there is one muscle going uh, over here this way and then I need to um, get in the shadow for this muscle because because the muscle is round, it's blocking some of the sunlight uh, um, for his own muscles, for the muscle itself. And that's why you kind of get something like this.
and I guess this is just a little bit too dark still and oh shit I'm sorry I I keep using that eraser well it isn't really working right now the way I want it to work so I'm just slightly erasing that because you can just leave it very light and it will still look good okay and now I'm gonna finish off these kind of lines over here just bit by bit and that adds for a little bit more detail in the drawing itself Alright, so I would say that this drawing is about done at this point. And in my opinion, it looks really, really cool. And uh, I'm very happy with the way this new technique that I just kind of discovered um, works out and I'll try to improve it and maybe uh, get better quality videos for you guys so yeah I think we're done um, if you like this video leave a like comment below what you think about the video and the drawing in general and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to, uh, so you don't miss an, a single video. Um, so yeah, this was Line as a Drawer, and goodbye.